iPhone 10 Teardown Repair Guide. Warning, you're performing this repair at your own risk. We claim no responsibility for any damages that might occur. To perform this DIY repair, you'll need a plastic triangle opening tool, nylon spudger, SIM card ejection tool, fine tip curved tweezers, precision knife set, premium two millimeter red adhesive roll, flathead screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, iPhone pentalobe screwdriver, tri-point screwdriver, Power down your Apple iPhone 10 smartphone. Eject the Nano SIM card tray. Remove the bottom 3.4 mm pentalobe screws located next to the lightning connector. Apply some heat and then use the precision knife to create enough space to insert a triangle opening tool. With the opening tool, slice through the adhesive and carefully decouple the iPhone 10 display assembly from the rear case. Now the standard. It opens to the side. The display assembly is still connected to the iPhone by cables, so don't try to remove it entirely just yet. Remove the following five tri-point screws, securing the bracket that covers every logic board connector. These screws are different sizes, so be sure to remember where they go. With the unit bracket out of the way, pry the battery and display cables up from the logic board and free the 5.8-inch all-screen OLED Super Retina HD display from the phone. Remove the following three tri-point screws. Use the spudger to help extricate the upper display component assembly. It includes the loudspeaker, microphone, ambient light sensor, flood illuminator, and proximity sensor. The iPhone 10 dual cell battery has four adhesive pull tabs. The pull tabs are adhered to the sides of cells rather than folded over the top, making this step a little trickier than usual. Slowly and gently pull each strip up and away from the iPhone 10. Keep pulling until they come out from between the battery and the rear case. With the adhesive removed, the 2716 mAh iPhone 10 battery is easily extracted. With the spudger in hand, detach the two 12 megapixel iPhone 10 rear facing cameras from the logic board. Remove the following two Phillips screws and bracket. The rear cameras are additionally secured to the rear case with some foam adhesive. Use the spudger to help pry them up and out of the chassis. Before digging the iPhone 10 logic board out of the rear case, it is necessary to dispatch of a bevy of connectors. Remove the following three Phillips screws and carefully uproot the iPhone 10 logic board out of the rear case.
The top of the phone houses the true depth front facing camera system, easily lifted out of the rear case. Remove the following three Phillips screws and four tri point screws. Detach and remove the bracket covered in spring connectors and EMI grounding fingers. Remove the following tri point screw and small bracket. Pry out the iPhone X lower speaker enclosure. Detach the interconnect cable. Remove the standoff screw and then tweeze out the barometric vent. Remove the falling Phillips screw and free the iPhone X Taptic engine. This sleek engine uses haptic feedback to simulate the push of a button. Remove the following two standoff screws, two Phillips screws, and tri-point screw. Be sure to remember where each screw goes. The iPhone 10 Lightning connector assembly is moderately adhered to the rear case, but with a little help from the spudger, it is readily removed. This cable assembly includes the Lightning port and microphone. Peel the interconnect cable up from the iPhone 10 rear case. Remove the following two Phillips screws. The next component to surrender is a multi-function cable that contains the quad LED true tone flash and the power button. Remove the following seven Phillips screws. With the help from tweezers and spudger, we attack the wireless charging coil and everything attached to it including the volume buttons, ring, silent switch, and sensor bracket.
All the replacement parts and repair tools used in the video are available at www.fixeasy.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Make sure to take a look at our other DIY smartphone and tablet repair tutorials.